Okay, we interrupt your regularly scheduled program with some breaking news. New software developers are asking the question, should they build their portfolios from scratch or use a template or a content management system? We have that coming up right here on Gishelle Tech TV. Hey everybody, so today I'll be talking about software development portfolios. I've often seen on sites like Twitter or LinkedIn where people ask if their dev portfolios should be built from scratch or if it's okay to use a template. I think the logic here is that people that are newer to the industry might fear that if they don't build their portfolio from scratch, they won't be seen as serious or something along those lines, but that is simply not true. So first, let's think about the purpose of a portfolio, which is mainly to introduce things like who you are, your skill set, and samples of your work. Basically, it's kind of like an extension of your resume and a way for people to get to know you a little bit better professionally in a sense. So how you go about building it is not as relevant as what's actually in your portfolio unless the portfolio itself is a sample of your work. But if it's not, then it's not really as relevant. So personally, I've been hired having built a portfolio uh, both from scratch and using a content management system. In my experience so far, I've never had an employer ask how I built my portfolio. They were more so concerned about my skills, what ways I've applied my knowledge, and being able to explain programming and coding concepts. As long as your portfolio is A, professional, B, organized, and C, easy to navigate, then the solution you choose to build it with is the least of your problems. So this was my first portfolio when I was looking for my first role. I built it from scratch using React.js, and luckily I still had it hosted, so you can actually check it out in the description. And it had the essentials, home, about, work samples and a contact page. Looking back, I like how I had my work sample screenshots inside of laptops and phone screens. And I remember doing this to demonstrate the mobile responsiveness of these projects. So I thought it was pretty cool. But my first job was with this portfolio and I think I applied back in 2019 and heard, heard back in 2020, like late 2019. I remember someone from the hiring team telling me that the pineapple was very creative and that my work really stood out so um, that was pretty cool to know. Eventually I did switch over to a content management system. Everything was hard coded here and I wanted an easier solution to manage things like adding new projects and removing old ones. Also I wanted my blog on my site too rather than having it on some external site as I had it before. I just wanted everything to be in one place. And I didn't have the time or didn't want to spend the time to build anything from scratch when there's already tools out there to do it for me. That doesn't take away from you as a developer. It just shows you know how to implement existing solutions. And many companies do this as well. Almost nothing is built completely from scratch anymore. Okay, end rant. But anyway, I switched over to WordPress, bought a domain and package from them, dumped my content in and called it a day. <laughs> so it's been updated quite a bit since I switched over, but this is my portfolio in WordPress. I have an intro, um, featured video, a couple of projects on the home page with a link to the actual projects page, my latest articles with a link to the actual articles page, and a way to subscribe and contact me. And then my projects page. This time, I simply displayed my projects as animations. I thought it would be pretty cool so that people can have a kind of a preview of them um, before clicking the links. And then I have an articles page as well, kind of, um, you know, standard articles, blog posts. Um, this is really one of the main reasons I switched over because it's just so easy to just do something. You just use something that's already out there. Um, you have your, you know, categories and all that. Um, which, you know, that would be a cool project to build, but I, I didn't have time to do that, you know, working full time. So um, WordPress it is. <laughs> 
and then just a simple contact page with my social media stuff. So when I was ready to move on into a new role, this was the portfolio I got hired with. And the feedback I got was that they read my blog and checked out my YouTube channel. And those are the kind of things that um, kind of made me stand out, which that was pretty cool to know too. All right, so that's all I have for now. Let me know in the comments how you built your portfolio. Has this ever concerned you at all? Have you ever gotten any kind of feedback about your portfolio from hiring managers? Do you have a portfolio at all? Comment below, let me know, and subscribe if you're interested in continuing to follow my tech journey and if you're interested in this kind of content. See you in the next video. Bye.